Well, good afternoon, YouTube family. As you can see, it's pretty cloudy and uh, not much solar going to the battery right now. And uh, I received my uh, new solar panel, 100 watt solar panel, and the kit just a little while ago. So, uh, kind of figures uh, it's going to be cloudy. But anyway, uh, we're going to go in there and I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, so I've already taken it out of the boxes and it came packed pretty good. Let me see if I can get a... Okay, the max power. 100 watts. Open circuit voltage 21.3. Optimum operating voltage is 18. And I'll just let y'all kind of look at that. Nice heavy cordage. Nice plugs. And let's see, I was trying to see. Okay, HQST 100D SSP. Now this is supposed to be mono. And let's flip this around. It's probably about 16 pounds. Size wise, you can look at the Amazon link that I'll, I'll post with this video. Size wise, it's about twice as big as, well, let me put it this way. Size-wise, this panel is equal to two of the panels that I have been using that's from Harbor Freight. If you put two of the Harbor Freight panels side by side, they would be about this size, but maybe an extra inch and a half on width. And two of those panels, they're 25 watt panels, so they're supposed to be 50 watt. And this is a hundred watts, so you're getting twice the wattage for half the size. As far as I can tell, the panel seems to be in good shape. It is anti-glare. Well, it's supposed to be anyway. I'm gonna have to clean it up a little better. It looks like I left some streaks. But as far as I can tell, the panel seems to be in good shape. Now, I did notice when I had this flipped around that there are already uh, the mounting holes if you're going to use the mounting brackets. There's holes here. Now, I ordered the kit with this HQST PMW 30 amp. This is pretty heavy as far as weight wise goes. Mount it to the heat sink. That you got for your cables go, and then from the battery, and then this is an auxiliary, like if you want to hook something up. Not real big. It's actually a lot smaller. And the one I have from Harbor Freight, but of course the one from Harbor Freight had the cigarette plugs, which uh, they're limited what you can run anyway. Now it has the mounting kit and the brackets made out of aluminum, the mounting hardware, screws, bolts. I believe it said there's 20 feet of cable. Heavy cable. I think that says 16 gauge. Nice plugs there. So yeah, that's that's the kit. Uh, of course, there's instructions with your controller. And I think what I'm gonna do, I want this to be portable. I don't really want to mount it. But camping in the forest, uh, I park my 
vehicle, you know, because the tent's on it, I make sure I'm in the shade as much as I can. That way, you know, we're not getting hot when we're camping. And uh, so, if the vehicle's in the shade, and I had that mounted to my vehicle, I'm not going to get any sun. If I leave it portable, I've got 20 feet of cable that I can move it around the vehicle and hopefully uh, find some sun. And uh, even in the backyard, with the Harbor Freight panels, I have to move my panels. I probably move them three times a day uh, to keep sun going to the battery, you know, so the panels in the sun. So it has to be portable. And, you know, I like that it's got a nice aluminum frame because I have a place I can store this uh, and just pull it out when I need it because, as I've said in some of my other videos, my battery system charges from the truck when the truck's running. So when we're, when we're on our way to the campsite or we're exploring with the truck, the, the alternator's going to charge my batteries. Uh, the only time I could use extra charge is when we're set up. And that's where this comes into play. So uh, it has to be portable so I can move it around with the sun. But I just wanted to show you... Uh, what I got and uh, I'll be hooking all this up and testing it with the fridge but I feel pretty confident that this system is going to just completely blow the Harbor Freight system out of the water and I gave $166 for this complete kit and I believe the 100 watt Harbor Freight panels were uh, 149 something and the charge controller I don't even know if it come with that price but I know the panels you would have twice the amount of area panels than this one so I would I don't recommend buying Harbor Freight I recommend go ahead they've come down enough on price nowadays that you can just buy the whole kit so with that, I think I'll end the video. I just wanted to show you all the, the kit I got. And uh, stay tuned because we'll be doing some tests with it. And I'll show you uh, how everything hooks up. But uh, be sure to go down there and hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. And I, I know this was just a quick little video. But uh, like I said, I just want to kind of show you the different components I got. And... Uh, you know, what all I got for $166. Thank you. Have a great day.